What's up guys, Hadith here and welcome back to another video. Today we will be looking at making a known block system with PHP and a MySQL database. So for this project, I have two possible templates to choose from where I'll be implementing the block system I'm going to make during these videos. So this one would be the first one, both are HTML up, HTML5 up templates. And this is the first one. The block system is not implemented into here. And this is the second one where I have implemented the block system already and I can, oops, that's not the view of the blocks. Um, here it is. Here I've implemented all the required functions for running this block pretty much. So yeah, we have a list of block entries here. We have an author, we have a date. And we have an excerpt we see here and we can go to read this um, block. I can click here. Um, it will take me to the block, but I've opened it here already. And yeah, pretty much we can read the block. So, so this is pretty much what we will be doing. I don't know by the time of recording this part of this uh, first part, uh, which template I'm going to choose. Probably going to choose the second one. Oops, not this one, but this one because it's very bloggy like um, and I've already done a blog with this one so just to make this presentation video sort of and yeah that's why I would choose the other one if you're watching this before the other parts of our oh I can't make this <laughs> that doesn't make sense because if you're watching this video I've already decided anyways so right now I'm gonna say something like let's jump into the making of the blog system for you it will be just another minute of the video, but for me it will be probably another day. Yeah, it will be another day, but probably maybe another week, I don't know by now. And I will already have decided which template I'm gonna use, so yeah. Let's jump straight into the creating of the system. So let's start making the block. I have decided to use this template now, uh, since the first part of the video it's probably and you could probably hear by my voice that it's another day. Um, it's probably four weeks later. So yeah, I've decided to use this one. I've also set up a GitHub where I'm going to push my changes after every video. So uh, you can sort of view the current state um, for yourself. Maybe ask questions or um, submit improvements. So yeah, this is what it currently looks like. I have uploaded um, to my working directory the theme directly. So, but it's kind of dead right now, so it doesn't do anything. And I'm gonna start with making my class, making my um, entry class. So our block will have entries and the entry has its own class just for, uh, simplified use. Now I didn't do classes in um, I think I didn't. I did like a static um, method collection class for the login videos, login project. Now for this one I've decided to make a class so we're gonna call the folder class um, or yeah let's call it classes and now create a new file entry and I'm gonna close the door because the bird is really loud sometimes. So yeah, let's write some PHP tags. I didn't find a way how to like directly let those appear um, here. So if I'm going, doesn't work like in Sublime. Yep. So I don't know if anybody has a solution for this. I'm using a Visual Studio Code again. I used it like the last time two years ago then I didn't really like it so now I'm back at it again and I feel like it has changed a lot maybe it's just an illusion so yeah let's make the class entry since I am coming from C sharp I call my things um, capital here but I'm going to use camel case for is it camel case called I think so uh, for the methods which is uncommon for C sharp. The fields, um, I usually like to call them the same way they are in the database. 
but in this case I think I'm gonna sorry uh, in this case I think I'm gonna use yeah let's use um, lowercase uh, stuff you can do whatever you want whatever your convention is so it's gonna have an ID it's gonna have an author oh yeah that's the problem with uh, talking and thinking and typing at once um, I end up typing what I just said so um, without really thinking about it uh, it's gonna have a title it's gonna have and yeah I'm making those public or actually let's make them private because most of the time you have to do this private or it's uh, recommended to do it private I don't know if it's uh, for PHP as well but usually fields are private and I'm gonna do a dbh here which is the PDO um, thingy and I have a tool which lets me create I hope for all of these insert oh property not found select the property okay um, oh yeah there we go get ID set ID so I guess I have to do it individually for each of those and dbh doesn't need one because it's a full private um, full private field uh, we're not going to access the dbh of an entry from outside at all so I'm gonna build the constructor and here I'm just going to assign the dbh um, to a new PDO and here I'm gonna say uh, mysql and the db name will be block tut. I haven't created the db yet, so we're gonna do this after we complete the class host um, localhost for me. It needs a break like this, and here I'm gonna say root, and I'm gonna say, yeah, it doesn't have a password here because I'm localhost. And yeah, this is it. So when we create a new entry, it's gonna assign dbh to this PDO and we can already start working with it. So I've already made thoughts about the um, functions. So I'm gonna create functions with like leaving them empty. So I'm gonna have a function create new from post, from the post request. I also have one just create new and I have a function um, set by params so set by parameters I'm getting which is ID just uh, my parameters ID and yeah it's early not really really early in the morning but it's kind of early in the morning I just don't have time to do it at another time right now so and I finally want to record this video because I've been plan planning this for ages now um, yeah I'm gonna leave it first as well so function um, set by row this one is a simpler one or it's good if you have this because it's very convenient to use if you just give it a row this is basically for reading from the database and here we just say our params are oh I'm already writing this <laughs> well yeah let's let's already write this um, so I can have my thoughts on naming the uh, database parameters ID date author excerpt title content and I'm gonna use a prefix post date so post offer uh, post excerpt so the excerpt is basically the preview we see when we browse through multiple yes go away uh, when we browse through multiple block entries and uh, yeah so it's kind of different from the content you could make the excerpt like 
automated, like say 500 characters from the main content, but I think um, a dedicated excerpt is better because sometimes the excerpt, auto-generated excerpt just isn't good enough or if you have like an image uh, file with no that's uh you could fix that but anyways um sometimes well you you want to make the excerpt interesting to read and sometimes it just isn't uh when it's auto generated starting with the introduction of your main um content so where something boring is described or something out of context whatever some pre thought some you know when you have a book and you read like the pre-introduction part uh, boring right so this is the same thing actually um, do I need anything else oh yeah I'm gonna do the SQL um, stuff in here so stuff like um, SQL insert entry is gonna be in here and stuff like select entry is also gonna be um, by ID first yeah let's by ID it's I think it's the only one so here I'm calling it the same way we are calling it here oh no we, we don't um, yeah let's do this prefix as well and select and just copy this and say also update there we go I don't know if I want to use Ajax or not. It's more convenient when you create it and then you don't have to like update the page and then load all the content into the text boxes of your um, create entry view because you kind of um, submit it in background. As long as we don't submit the files, it should work. Yeah, we will see. Um, and a private function for validate string. Validate string. And this will be um, to validate that no PHP, uh, no HTML tags are used. So we can do stuff like um, cross site scripting, etc. And yeah, should call these public. I don't know if people do it in PHP really, but. Usually you have to say something about this. And yeah, that's this this is it. Um let's create the localhost PHP my admin 